Hi guys, Jamie from Time and Space here with a quick video today giving you a first look at this new plugin here from Audio Modern called Playbeat. Now Playbeat is labelled as a creative groove randomizer and essentially what it is is a four channel pattern sequencer that allows you to load in any of your own samples and then on top of that there are a load of great controls and functions that allow you to very easily create and edit grooves on the fly. It's a very intuitive and hands-on approach to sequencing and with the randomization engine it allows you to discover new grooves that would usually take you ages to achieve. So let's dive straight into the interface. So to start with let's load in some samples. This is done in this section here and there are two ways you can load in your samples. So you can either click on one of these boxes and that will bring up a browser where you can um, locate your samples or you can drag and drop which is what I'm going to do. Um, and I'm going to be using some samples from an old Audio Modern product called Glitchy 3 because I like the sound of them. Um, so I've just loaded in a kick, snare, hi-hat and perk and then each one of these corresponds to one of the sequencer lanes down here. Now we have our samples loaded and we can start generating some sequences. So we have three different parameters which we can change the patterns for. Um, the first of all is steps. So I've got that selected now and I can very easily just um, punch in some notes here and then press play and we'll hear it. Next we have pitch. Um, for each note we have a range of C minus 2 all the way up to G8 um, and you can just slide between those um, like this and then finally we have the volume and in a similar fashion you can just slide between values of 0 and 127 for each note. And the way I've just shown you of working is perfectly normal way of doing it, uh, but it can be quite time consuming and that's where the randomization aspect comes in really handy. So we can choose to use these random controls on either individual samples or all of them here. So this is the sample select. Um, so if I go with all of them and then not only do we have a randomized button for each parameter, but we also have a range which comes in really handy. Uh, so I could say I wanted to randomize the steps between a number of eight and five, click randomize and it will generate a pattern. Uh, I could say I could do the pitch between A sharp one and C4, randomize, and then I go volume and say 70 and 116, randomize. And if I click play now, we'll hear something very different. Some other controls we have along here are global randomization at the top, um, which will randomize all three of the parameters at once. And then along with that, we also have a lock and reset function. Uh, then on the right here, we have a sample start um, slider, and then a shuffle slider, and time division, and the volume, which you can adjust for each sample. Uh, and then finally, we have this sign here, which is the infinity mode. And when this is activated, it will regenerate a new pattern every time it gets to the end of the sequence. Uh, and then you can also specify how many times it will repeat before regenerating a new sequence here. Final few controls now, we have the sequence length. Um, which we can just use this slider to drag back to the desired length or we can use these left and right arrows here to move the whole sequence forwards or backwards by one step. Uh, then along the right here we have the option to erase a lane um, or we can copy and paste it just by clicking and dragging like that. Uh, then we also have a solo and mute and of course we have the presets along the bottom and so it's really easy to save your presets you just click up here name it wherever you want click save and then you can access them from here and just assign them to one of the 16 slots down the bottom. Um, another cool feature is the um, in the settings menu you can find a bunch of MIDI CC mappings available um, and there's a value for basically everything so you can control the whole plugin from your MIDI keyboard or controller. Uh, now we've looked through all that I'll just spend a minute or two playing around with everything and get some grooves going.
I hope this has given you some insight into how fun Playbee is. It's a really great way to get the most out of your samples in such short time and with such ease of use, um, and I really recommend it to anyone. I was only using drum samples in this video, but you could of course use anything you'd like, um, such as melodies, bass lines, vocal samples, sound effects, and so on. There's lots to try out. Playbeat comes as a standalone application, but also has VST, AU, and AAX formats, so you can easily load it up into your DAW. Um, but for any more information, please visit www.timespace.com. Thanks for watching.